welcome back to another jazz drum q-tip of the week for those of you who are new my name is quincy davis thank you so much for tuning into this lesson and checking out this channel i hope you enjoy this lesson so much that you hit that like button and please consider subscribing because i put out a lot of lessons that i think you might find helpful all right i'm really excited about this lesson i'm sorry about last week i was traveling i missed it but I'm here now and I'm ready for you and I'm going to show you exactly how I built up my own personal bank of ideas and solo language. Whatever language you're trying to learn, whether it's jazz, whether it's rock, whether it's funk, whether it's French, Spanish, Japanese, learning small phrases is a great way to become fluent and essentially build up small phrases and then start to combine them. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you five of my favorite phrases from my most recent ebook of drum set solo vocabulary volume two yes i have a volume one if you haven't checked that out check that out but today's phrases will be coming from volume two of my ebook in my ebook you'll find phrases from master drummers such as max roach frankie dunlop uh, ed blackwell philly joe jones uh, buddy rich but also ideas from more current drummers such as steve gadd and marcus gilmore uh, bill stewart in addition, I even put some ideas and phrases of my own in there. So you definitely want to check that out. The link will be down below. But we are getting into this lesson. So if you guys are ready, you know what to do. Those of you who know, know it's time to let me know if you're ready. Are you guys ready? Are you really, really ready? I wasn't ready last week, I admit. But I'm ready now. Ready? One, two, three. Let's go! Ed Blackwell. A lot of drummers don't know about Ed Blackwell, but he was an incredible drummer who played with Ornette Coleman. And this idea comes from the tune T and T, um, and it's one that I learned in college from my teacher Billy Hart. He had all the students learn this phrase, right? And it's a really, really melodic sounding phrase that you can do a lot with. Um, so essentially, if I break it down, uh, if I break each hand down, two. One, two, three, four. The right hand. Combined. Right? So one obvious way that you can kind of start to personalize it what i do a lot is i flip the hands so instead of going now i'll go right so that's one way of doing it another thing is he has this bass drum or these a feet a foot pattern that he plays right so that gave me the idea, oh, you can play all kinds of different rhythms and ostinatos with the feet, right? As I always like to do. So you can go. That's an obvious one, but what about maybe play, put your feet in three? Or dotted notes, right? You can play dotted eighth notes. What does that sound like? One, two, stay with me now. One, two, uh, uh, uh. Right? So that's one thing you can do with the feet. And then, of course, you can move your hands around. I missed that last one. But
right, this phrase is one of my favorites of one of my favorite drummers, Max Roach, and comes from his famous Four Big Sid solo. Um, and actually, I did a video pl of myself playing the solo some years ago, maybe eight years ago. You can find that. I'll make sure the link is there. But this is one of my favorite so uh, phrases in that solo, and it's one of the hardest. Um, so I'll play it very slow first, and then we'll build it up. Now that you've seen it slow, I'm going to play it a little faster, and I'm going to start to play with it um, and try to personalize it. One thing about this one, it's hard to really break away from the basic orchestration of it. However, one thing that you will see me do is start to play with the feet. You can always substitute with any phrase, with any idea, substitute the bass drum with a hi-hat or vice versa. So I'll play around with that idea. All right, that phrase is from Seven Steps to Heaven, Tony Williams, of course, and it's the first phrase in my ebook. I love it because it's a very, it's a super linear phrase, right? And it's also a phrase that you can feel in three. But we're in four, right? So I'll play it slower now. So once you get the general idea, then you can start to play with it and try to personalize it. So let's see what that might sound like. All right, this is one I got from the great Lewis Nash. Um, and it's just based on two rudiments, the pair diddle diddle and the pair diddle. Four pair diddle diddles and one full pair diddle. And you can isolate that on the drum. So on the snare drum. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Oh, oh, oh. That's it. And essentially, a, a very obvious way of kind of breaking that up and personalizing it is moving it around the drums, right? So initially I played it on the cymbal, but you can play this as just a solo uh, drum idea, right? On the drums. So. <laughs> Right, this is one of my personal phrases um, that was inspired by Bill Stewart, one of my big influences. And it sounds more complex than it really is. All it is is triplets 
uh, using single alternating single strokes. That's it. That's it. One. So if I were to isolate it just on one drum, it would look like this and sound like this. One, two, three, four. But as it's written in my ebook, I have it. Right? If you put your feet with it, kind of sounds like a calypso groove. <laughs> right? So in context, I'll see what I can do with it to personalize it. Well, it's already <laughs> personalized because it's mine. But uh, I'll see what I can do to change it up. Here we go. All right, that is the lesson. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it gives you some ideas as to how you can build your own personal bank of ideas, language, and vocabulary, learning and stealing. Yes, I said stealing from some of the master drummers, past and current. Um, I encourage you to do this, but I'm also not saying don't learn full-length solos also because there is something to learn when learning a whole solo as well. All right, so until the next time, you know what to do. Definitely shed this stuff. Um, practice hard, but practice smart. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye.